Hey YouTubers, it's uh, Brian Big Boy 1000 back at you again with my uh, AR-15 build from scratch. Um, I guess you would consider this probably uh, part 8 and I'll call it uh, finished. However, finished, I don't mean complete. And what I mean by that is uh, if you've been following my videos, you've seen I built this rifle from paycheck to paycheck, piece by piece. And uh, it's finally, I put the last piece on it, which was the compensator. Now I can uh, defend myself or go to the shooting range and fire it. Um, however, you know, it is functionable now. Um, I still need to check the headspace before I fire it or maybe just fire. I don't know yet. But it is, uh, it is complete and ready to be fired. Um, there is a few things I want to put on it, so I guess I won't call the, com the rifle complete. However, like I said, it's a fully functional rifle and you can go fire it now. And uh, I'll tell you a few things that I uh, want to finish it, to put on it, to make it, you know, the way I want it and set it up how I like it. And then I'll, I'll go over what's on it already. And then uh, as I get the new products that I'm going to put on the gun, I'll do a review of them and, uh, you know, make another video and give you an update how this rifle's coming. And then uh, once I finally get it complete, I'll move on to my next firearm and uh, don't know if it'll be an AR, an AK, or if I'll work on my Mossberg 500 or... Or if I'll look into getting a, a Glock and uh, kind of tricking it out or another 1911, haven't made my mind up. But uh, let's see, uh, to finish this rifle, I'd like to put a, a K&S Precision, you know, a hammer and trigger pins, uh, anti-rotation. And then I would like to put the Magpul Bad Lever. Um, I need to get a sling for it. Um, I need to get a flashlight for it and another piece of Picatinny rail so I can move my AFG to where I want it so haven't made my mind up on the flashlight whether I go surefire or streamlight but I need a flashlight and then uh, I'm gonna put an EOTech on it um, I had a zombie stomper on my last rifle which was kinda like an XPS model and uh, yeah, I had it was a carbine length with uh, Mo handguard so I had to kinda go with the short one and it was a zombie themed rifle um, on this one it has a full rail across the top so I'll probably go with the 512 model just because it's the least expensive one and I've got plenty of rail space to move it up if I'm going to put an optic but I don't really plan on putting an, I mean, an optic uh, magnifier and I really don't plan on putting a magnifier on there so I think a 512 will kind of look good with the long 15 inch free float you know instead of this little stubby you know holograph on top of my weapon I'll have one that's kind of longer and then you know the other plus is it's cheaper and it takes double-a batteries so uh, you know those are more widely available but uh, that's kind of the things I just need to finish up the rifle and I'm pretty much done with it um, kind of was tossing when I went to buy my free float handrail whether to go with an OD green or a black one because you know my furniture is all OD green Magpul and uh, a lot of the comments that were left on the the website about it was that the OD green looked kind of like a gray color and just didn't match very well. So I figured I would just go for the black now and then later if I feel like I want to change it up I can always buy the Magpul OD green Cerakote and kind of you know just paint it myself so I opted to go with the black. Um, kind of go over what I, I got with you. Let's see. I got the Magpul uh, ACS you know, it's got, I went ahead and put the little cutie attachment that they had. I went ahead and put it on there just so it gives me another attachment point. So I got the, the ACS, um, OD Green. I'm going to just kind of start from the back here. I got the Spikes Tactical uh, Mil Spec 7075 Aluminum uh, Buffer Tube Assembly with the STT2 uh, Heavy Buffer with the Spikes logo on the front of it. Um, I've got the, let's see here, if you can kind of see that or not, right here I got the Noveski QD end plate. I was going to go with the ASAP, but I just didn't like how it kind of jingled there, you know, and just kind of get hung up on something, and I was going to be running some kind of a QD, so that's the reason why I opted to go with that one. I got the Magpul uh, Mo Plus grip, it's kind of like a rubberized grip, OD green. Got uh, four of these OD green P-Mags. Um, I got the Magpul uh, MBUS Gen 2 flip-up sights, front and rear, OD green. Got the uh, Bravo Company Mod 3 large charging handle. Got a Spikes Tactical uh, lower 
with a CMMG uh, lower parts kit because I couldn't find a Spikes Tactical. I had to buy the CMMG, that's all I could find at the time. I uh, got the Magpul Mo uh, Trigger Guard OD Green. I got the Aero Precision Upper just because I couldn't find a Spikes Upper anywhere. I went with what I could find. Uh, let's see, what else do we got on the other side? I have the uh, WMD Guns Nickel Boron Bolt Carrier Group. I got a DPMS uh, Ford Assist and Dust Cover. I got a Demon Tactical Quick Pin. You kind of put that in and it acts like a JP pin. When you put it in, it expands and it pulls your upper and lower together to make it a tight fit so you don't get all that wobble and jiggle. And you don't have to worry about having an accu wedge in there. And they offer another one without this lever for those guys that think you're going to hang this and snag it and pull it out. You're not going to because your hand's right there. But uh, they also make another one where you take a spent 5.56 five, or 2.23 two, round or casing and you got to put in there and kind of pull up, and that's your lever. You know, but it, for those guys that are worried about that, but these are real nice. It's, they're made by Demon Tactical. You got to Google it, check them out. So I got that. Let's see, let's move up to the front here. Got the Midwest Industries uh, Gen 2 SS 15 inch free float rail. Um, underneath it, it's got the FN Spikes Tactical Chrome Hammer Forged, Chrome Lined, M4 feed ramps, 1 and 7 twist, um, HP MP tested, you know, top notch 16 inch barrel. I've got a Spikes Tactical low profile gas block underneath it. Um, I got the AFG2 OD green on it right here and then uh, for my uh, compensator here I just put on was the last piece I got a Spikes Tactical uh, Dynacomp um, and that's pretty much it right there guys leave any comments below you know if there's anything you would have did different you know comments if you like it um, please like the video um, I'm not done with this rifle yet, so there will still be a few more to come as I buy more stuff to put on this rifle. Um, any questions about how it, how easy it was to put together, or you know, I should have maybe made videos, but being it was my first build, I didn't want to look like an idiot on camera for you guys, so I kind of just uh, did it this way. But uh, it's done for now. Like I said, uh, we'll save up some more money and finish it up and then uh, move it to the side and move on to the next build. Uh, kind of made uh, buying guns a new hobby of mine since they're going to be uh, probably hard to get a hold of and uh, I'm kind of getting a little bit older and get a little bit more tired and don't like working on the car so much like I used to so I kind of just uh, switched my hobby and uh, there's my rifle guys and uh, this is Brian Big Boy 1000 saying uh, see you later.